Amen, amen, amen. Good evening. Um, welcome to the Sound the Alarm podcast uh, for Sunday, March the 6th, year 20, 2016. I almost said 2016. 2016. My name is Minister Arthur L. Weathersby. I am one half of Sound the Alarm Ministries, along with my wife, Pastor Evangelist Sherry O. Weathersby. We are located at 3101 North Market Street, uh, West 31st Street is the side entrance in the city of Wilmington, Delaware. The zip is 919802. And our worship services start at about 1 p.m. each and every Sunday. Reason being why we have such a late worship service, we share this space, uh, which is actually the Union American Methodist Episcopal Church headquarters. Amen. Here in the city of Wilmington, Delaware, uh, the first uh, the, the matter of fact, the, the presiding bishop of the 1st and 4th district, the prelate, is Bishop Linwood Wright out the 3rd, who graciously allotted us this space to be used, along with a sister church of, of theirs, well, not a sister church, one of their churches, amen, uh, uh, that is pastored, well, let me give you the name of the church, that's New Hope, U-A-M-E, uh, C, uh, and the pastor is the very fine pastor, a dear brother, beloved, and one that we've come to, my wife and I have come to know the last couple of months uh, since we started the ministry on December the 12th. Um, none other than Pastor Reverend Gilbert Bruton and his conference assistant, assignee, a uh, constant assignee from UAMEC is Reverend Marilyn Turner in the congregation of New Hope, who, who serves to start at 11. We come right behind them. As a matter of fact, we attend their worship services there in the morning. Amen. To support them. And as we prepare to go into our own worship service that starts at 1 p.m. Amen. So, 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 yeah. So we're coming to you to with a message today that actually I had to do in two parts. And it was kind of a, you know, there, nobody can do you like God. Uh, and he gives you the power and the will to do everything that needs to be done. As a matter of fact, my favorite New Testament scriptures, uh, scripture is, is Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. It's no boast upon Arthur, but absolutely it's a boast upon the one who can do uh, exceedingly abundantly above. That what I can imagine or even ask. So I just thank God for the power and the strength that he gave that allowed us to preach a message at church at our sound the alarm and go immediately uh, just about uh, to get to service that started at 2.30. Uh, at Cadia Silverside uh, Physical Rehabilitation and Skilled Nursing Facility, 3322 uh, Silverside Road in the city of Wilmington, Delaware, 19810. This facility is a place that I've been familiar with since December of 2012. When I came in there and offered up my services as a volunteer uh, to minister to the people there as they were opening the doors to that place, brand new, built it from the ground up. And subsequently, in uh, February, uh, January 31st, 2014, my, uh, before then, when my then wife relocated uh, back home to Wilmington from uh, Columbus, Ohio, after having lived there for 33 years, uh, she was married for 29 of those 33. What that means is that her husband, the late Donald Elder, uh, the late Don, Elder Donald Scales, um, went home to be with the Lord in May of 2011. And she carried on the ministry that they had begun there, which was known as Man in Christ. But God had given her a vision sometime before, roughly close to 15 to 20 years. She can't specify the exact date, but we're saying in between that time, uh, he gave her sound the alarm. And she began the process of establishing it. It didn't get fully established because about three years later, three and a half years later, she's back in Wilmington. But God always uh, rewards those that are faithful to him. And, and and he has begun a good work in you. That's Philippians 1, 6. He's faithful to complete it till the coming of Jesus Christ. And if he begun something, he finishes it. So he, he gave her the vision, and the vision came to, uh, to life on December the 12th when we launched Sound, Sound the Alarm Ministries. Our theme scripture for the ministry is Joel 2.1. And then we have a motto. And we took that motto from Isaiah 58, 1. We are crying loud and sparing not. Amen. And God has been so good to us. I tell you, um, it's amazing the things that he's done. Uh, on Friday, when I was on my way to my doctor's appointment, my regular scheduled doctor's appointment, I was driving. And uh, while I was driving, I was listening to Sirius FM uh, of radio, 
Well, it, uh, this, this, the station I was listening to is 64, which is Kirk Franklin Praise. And a song came on the on the air that I had not heard. I've had uh, this, uh, well, this car that I have, I've had it since July. And the Sirius FM came with that, praise God. When it when it comes up, when it when when that's a free subscription uh, ends, that's all right. I got a way of getting music without even have to go through uh, uh, paying for it. Amen. You can download stuff on this car that I got. Amen. So uh, uh, from your smartphone, and that's what I've been. That's what I'm gonna do for free. Well, not for free. I'm paying Verizon Wireless, so I'm gonna get full benefit. Amen. So uh, uh, I heard this song. And when I heard the song, I thank God that I was in control of the Holy Ghost because people just don't know. It just hit me so hard. Uh, and I'm going to let you hear it. And what I want you to understand is that uh, we're not we're not trying to do anything outside of the will of God. And I am extremely and always have been excited and passionate about my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Anybody that has known me from salvation um, in, at Gravel Hill Missionary Baptist Church, 525 Clinton Avenue in the city of Newark, New Jersey, where, where the pastor and my to the world, I didn't know nothing. And, but thank God that he's the greatest teacher by way of the Holy Ghost. And when you do do, do diligence, uh, the Bible says that he rewards those who diligently seek after him. And I diligently seek after him on a daily. And so this message, I want you to hear, we got a theme song for Sound the Alarm. Amen. I'm going to play it right now. Oh, yeah. The person that, uh, that I have to get a homage to is the, is the one that uh, apparently, I believe she may have written a song. I'm not sure, but she's absolutely singing it. And her name is Dr. Judith Christie McAllister. Hit this song, y'all. Sound the Alarm's theme song, and it goes like this. Amen. It's coming up. We just have to get it to, uh, yeah, all right, here we go. We're about ready to start. Let's hear it. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sound the alarm. Put on the armor. Sound the alarm. Sound the trumpet. Hallelujah. 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 When I said that God, when, when I say that God is a personal God and that he will do things and he do things just for you, this is a song says, just for me. Amen. God did that song just for sound the alarm. I don't know when that song got published. I got to find out, check that out. But when it came out, like I said, the ministry um, that my uh, of sound the alarm was born into uh, to my wife's uh, uh, spirit by the, uh, uh, the vision that God gave her when she asked him about a ministry for herself because she know her, knew her calling. And he told her, sound the alarm. Amen. This here song, it seems as though we commissioned Dr. Judith McAllister, uh, 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 Dr. Judith Christie McAllister to record a song for our ministry. No, we did not. It was already predestined to be. Lord, oh, damn mercy. Oh, I'm, I'm about ready to start preaching again. I'm going to let me get to let me get to the app, guys, so I can pull up the message so that you can hear. That was recorded earlier yesterday because now it's past midnight here. Uh, uh, it looks like it's, oh, uh, yeah, it's about 12.08 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time because that's the time zone that I'm living in. Get ready to hear the message, and here it comes from uh, this uh, yesterday afternoon at Sound the Alarm Ministries. Amen. Be blessed. Upon the sea and it from the cup and the river. Who 
shall go up into the mountain of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up to him to alter or to what is false, nor sworn his people. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness.